The question is, a block is freely sliding down from a vertical height of 4 meters on a smooth inclined plane. The block reaches bottom of the inclined plane and then it describes a vertical circle of radius 1 meter along a smooth track. Find the ratio of the normal reactions on the block while it is crossing the lowest point and the highest point of the vertical circle. So the setup given in the question looks something like this. So initially the block it is on a point on this inclined plane which is at a height of 4 meters from the ground. Let us say this is point A. After some time this block slides down this inclined plane and reaches the lowest point of this vertical circle. Let us say this is point B. Let us assume that at this point it has a velocity V1. At this point a normal reaction from the circular track is acting on the block in the vertically upwards direction. Also its weight mg is acting in the vertically downwards direction. After some time this block reaches the highest point of this vertical circle. Let us say this is point C. At this point let us assume that it has a velocity v2. Also at this point a normal reaction n2 is acting on this block from the circular track. Also its weight mg is acting vertically downwards. Now in this question we can apply energy conservation between points A and B and points B and C because there is no non-conservative force acting on the block at any instance of time. So if we apply energy conservation between points A and B what do we get? At point A the total energy of the block is only the potential energy because uh, its velocity is zero so it has no kinetic energy. So at this point uh, the energy of the block is mgh. Now what is the energy of the block at point B? It is only kinetic energy because it is already in the ground so it has no potential energy. So from energy conservation the energy between points A and B will be conserved. So from here we can calculate V1. So V1 comes out to be root over 2 G H. Now we already know H. H is the height of the block from the ground at this point A which is 4 meters. So this comes out to be root over H. Now what do we have at this point B? We have a normal reaction acting vertically upwards and it's the uh, weight of the block mg acting downwards. So the resultant is mass times acceleration of the block. So this acceleration is the centripetal acceleration of the block which is V square by R into m this is the centripetal force. Now from here this v, v is the velocity of the block at point B which is V1 and from here we can calculate the normal reaction at point B which comes out to be N1 equals to mg plus from here we already know V1 which is root 8g so m into 8g by r is the radius of this vertical circle so which is 1 meter we already know so from here n1 comes out to be 9 mg now let us apply energy conservation between points b and point c so at point B what is the energy of the block? It is only the kinetic energy because it has no potential energy as it is on the ground. So it is half mv1 square. But at point C it has both kinetic energy as well as potential energy because it is at a height from the ground. 
so the potential energy is m into g into 2r 2r is the diameter of this cer vertical circle which and the height from the ground so m into g into 2r plus the kinetic energy of the block is half m v2 square now we know v1 and we know r r is 1 meter so from here we can calculate v2 so v1 square is 8g so 8g by 2 equals 2g m is cancelled from everywhere now this comes out to be v2 square by 2 so from here we get 8g minus 4g equals v2 square so finally v2 comes out to be root over 4g now let us apply force equation at point C so what is the what will be the force equation at point C at point C we have n2 acting downwards and the weight of the block mg also acting downwards so this will be equal to mass into the acceleration which is the centripetal acceleration which comes out to be m v2 square by r now we already know v2 from here which is 4g so we can calculate n2 from here which comes out to be m into 4g by radius is 1 meter we already know minus mg so this is 3 mg so now we know both the normal reactions at point B and point C so at point B we have n1 equals 9 mg as we have calculated and n2 we have calculated here 3 mg so finally we have the ratio of the two normal reactions n1 is to n2 equals 9 mg is to 3 mg equals 3 is to 1.